subscribe our channel if you like our video please share it with your friends you can also click the bell icon to get the notifications Lincoln's apparently radical change of mind about his war powers to emancipate slaves was caused by the escalating scope of the war, which convinced him that any measure to weaken the Confederacy and strengthen the Union war effort was justifiable as a military necessity. A young man from a small provincial town, a man without independent wealth, without powerful family connections and without a university education, moves to London in the 1580s, and becomes a remarkable playwright of all time. How is an achievement of magnitude made? How does Shakespeare become Shakespeare? Domestication is an evolutionary, rather than a political development. They were more likely to survive and prosper in an alliance with humans than on their own. Humans provided the animals with food and protection, in exchange for which the animals provided the humans their milk and eggs and, yes, their flesh.
The Japanese tea ceremony is a ritual tour influenced by Buddhism in which green tea is prepared and served to a small group of guests in a peaceful setting. The ceremony can take as long as four hours and there are many traditional gestures that both the server and the guest must perform. While blue is one of the most popular colors, it is one of the least appetizing. Food researchers say that when humans searched for food, they learned to avoid toxic or spoiled objects, which were often blue, black or purple. When food dyed blue is served to study subjects, they lose appetite. Humans need to use energy in order to exist. So it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are most concerning, because of their impact on health, result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. The primary application we're targeting at first is to give people a decision aid during rehabilitation, following an acute knee injury, to help them understand when they can perform particular activities, and when they can move to different intensities of particular activities. A useful thing to take crack at.
The border itself between Mexico and United States is fraught with a mix of urban and desert terrain and spans over 1,900 miles. Both the uninhabited areas of the border and urban areas are where the most drug trafficking and illegal crossings take place. Crime is prevalent in urban cities like El Paso, Texas, and San Diego, California. Weakness in electronics, auto and gas station sales dragged down overall retail sales last month, but excluding those three categories, retailers enjoyed healthy increases across the board, according to government figures released Wednesday. Moreover, December sales numbers were also revised higher. Long isolated from Western Europe, Russia grew up without participating in the development like the Reformation that many Europeans taking pride in their unique culture, find dubious value. Russia is, as a result, the most unusual member of European family, if indeed it is European at all. In classes, your teachers will talk about topics that you are studying. The information that they provide will be important to know when you take tests. You must be able to take good written notes from what your teacher says.
it isn't rare for private equity houses to hire graduates fresh out of business schools, but nine times out of ten, the students who nab these jobs are the ones who had private equity experience before even starting their MBA program. This book is no ordinary book and should not be read through from beginning to end. It contains many different adventures, and the path you take will depend on the choices you make along the way. The success or failure of your mission will hinge on the decisions you make, so think carefully before choosing. When countries assess their annual carbon emissions, they count up their cars and power stations, but bushfires are not included presumably because they are deemed to be events beyond human control. In Australia, Victoria alone sees several hundred thousand hectares burn each year. In both 2004 and more recently, the figure has been over one million hectares. Tesla's theoretical work formed the basis of modern alternating current electric power systems. Thomas Edison promised him almost $1 million in today's money to undertake motor and generator improvement. However, when Tesla, the ethical Serb, asked about the money, Edison's reportedly reply was Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. The pair became arch-rivals.
The core of the problem was the immense disparity between the country's productive capacity and the ability of people to consume. Great innovations in productive techniques during and after the war raised the output of industry beyond the purchasing capacity of U.S. farmers and wage earners. Few things in the world produce such amazement as one's first glimpse of the Grand Canyon, it took around more than two billion years to create this vast wonder in some places, 17 miles wide, largely through the relentless force of the Colorado River, which runs 277 miles along its length and a mile beneath its towering rims. Global warming is defined as an increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This trend began in the middle of the 20th century and is one of the major environmental concerns of scientists and governmental officials worldwide. The changes in temperature result mostly from the effect of increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The speaker is a marine biologist who became interested in the strandlopers, an ancient people who lived on the coastline, because of their connection to the sea. Their way of life intrigued him. As a child he had spent a lot of time by the sea, exploring and collecting things so he began to study them, and discovered some interesting information about their way of life, how they hunted, what tools they used, and so on.
The brain is divided into two hemispheres, called the left and the right hemispheres. Each hemisphere provides a different set of functions, behaviors, and controls. The right hemisphere is often called the creative side of the brain, while the left hemisphere is the logical or analytic side of the brain. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body, and the left hemisphere controls the right side. Certain types of methodology are more suitable for some research projects than others. For example, the use of questionnaires and surveys is more suitable for quantitative research whereas interviews and focus groups are more often used for qualitative research purposes. Such cross-protection is usually seen between two animals. But Gore studies the same sort of mutualism in microbes. He and his team demonstrated the first experimental example of that cross-protective relationship in drug-resistant microbes, using two strains of antibiotic-resistant E. coli bacteria, one resistant to ampicillin, the other to chloramphenicol. The numbers on U.S. student debt, after all, are truly staggering. The average 2015 U.S. university graduate who took out loans to help pay for tuition enters the workforce with $35,000 in student debt. In the U.S., total student debt exceeds $1.15 trillion, dwarfing, for instance, the nation's credit card debt.
Rice took a stab at settling the argument with a meta-analysis, a study of studies, on whether people can really perceive better than CD quality sound. He analyzed data from 18 studies, including more than 400 participants and nearly 13,000 listening tests. Overall, listeners picked out the better than CD quality track 52.3% of the time. Statistically significant, if not all that impressive. As far as politics go, the responses are just as varied. Mitigation is common and calls for a reduction of emissions and less reliance on fossil fuels. Coal-burning power plants are now replaced with hydraulic power plants, and electric cars are replacing some gasoline-efficient cars. Many people, however, feel that this is not enough. exhilarating, exhausting and intense. There are just some of the words used to describe doing an MBA. Everyone's experience of doing MBA is, of course, different through denying that it's hard and a demanding work whichever course you do. MBA is one of the fastest growing areas of studying in the UK so that there must be a sustainable benefit to be gained from such pain. The semiconductor industry has been able to improve the performance of electronic systems for more than four decades by making ever smaller devices. However, this approach will soon encounter both scientific and technical limits, which is why the industry is exploring a number of alternative device technologies.
Every morning, no matter how late he had been up, my father rose at 5.30, went to his study, wrote for a couple of hours, made us all breakfast, read the paper with my mother, and then went back to work for the rest of the morning. Many years passed before I realized that he did this for a living. Although it hails from a remote region of the western Himalayas, this plant now looks entirely at home on the banks of English rivers, and colonized river banks and damp woodlands. In the Himalayas the plant is held in check by various pests, but takes these away and it grows and reproduces unhindered. Now it is spreading across Europe, New Zealand, Canada and the US. Pluto lost its official status when the International Astronomical Union downsized the solar system from nine to eight planets. Although there had been passionate debate at the General Assembly meeting in Prague about the definition of a planet, and whether Pluto met the specifications, the audience greeted the decision to exclude it with applause. At the beginning of each fiscal year funds are allocated to each state account in accordance with the university's financial plan. Funds are allocated to each account by object of expenditure. Account managers are responsible for ensuring that adequate funds are available in the appropriate object before initiating transactions to use the funds.
Akimbo, this must be one of the otter-looking words in the language and puzzles us in part because it doesn't seem to have any relatives. What's more, it is now virtually a fossil word, until recently almost invariably found in arms akimbo, a posture in which a person stands with hands on hips and elbows sharply bent outward, one signaling impatience or hostility. The elephant is the largest living land mammal. During evolution, its skeleton has greatly altered from the usual mammal, designed for two main reasons. One is to cope with the great weight of huge grinding cheek teeth and elongated tusk, making the skull particularly massive. The other is to support the enormous bulk of such a huge body. The situation is similar to a pregnant woman that has twin babies in her belly, says Avi Loeb of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He's proposing the idea in a paper that's been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. The climate for doing business improved in Egypt more than in any other country last year, according to a global study that revealed a wave of company-oriented reforms across the Middle East. The World Bank rankings, which look at business regulations, also showed that the pace of business reforms in Eastern Europe was overtaking East Asia.
There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture, some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics, others see it as essential to civilized living and, concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. In other words, function combined with aesthetics, and yet others see furniture as a form of art. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats traveled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hand. As a historian, if you really want to understand the sensibilities of those who lived in the past, you must be like a novelist and get into the skins of your characters and think and feel as they do. You are asked to imagine what it's like to be a peasant in medieval times, asking the sort of questions a peasant might ask. What the writer is saying is that a historian needs imaginative sympathy with ordinary people in the past.
As to the Industrial Revolution, one cannot dispute today the fact that it has succeeded in inaugurating in a number of countries a level of mass prosperity which was undreamt of in the days preceding the Industrial Revolution. But, on the immediate impact of Industrial Revolution, there were substantial divergences among writers. This study tracked about 1,000 adults in the United States, and they ranged in age from 34 to 93, and they started the study by asking, how much stress have you experienced in the last year? They also asked, how much time have you spent helping out friends, neighbors, and people in your community? And then they used public records for the next five years to find out who died. The uniquely scented flavor of vanilla is second only to chocolate in popularity on the world's palate. It's also the second most expensive spice after saffron. But highly labor-intensive cultivation methods and the plant's temperamental life cycle and propagation mean production on a global scale is struggling to keep up with the increasing demand for the product. Researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the White-Rumped Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world.
A university is a lot more than just classes and exams. University is a concept that offers you a host of possibilities to develop both academically and personally. Find out about the different projects, clubs and societies that are in your university. You will definitely find something you are interested in. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing. Charles Darwin published his paper on the origin of species in 1859. It is one of the most well-known pieces of scientific literature in human history. In the paper, Darwin proposes the theory of natural selection. He states that for any generation of any species, there will always be a struggle for survival. Individuals who are better suited to the environment are fitter and therefore have a much higher chance of surviving and reproducing. This means that later generations are likely to inherit these stronger genetic traits. Botanic gardens are scientific and cultural institutions established to collect, study, exchange, and display plants for research and for the education and enjoyment of the public. There are major botanic gardens in each capital city. Zoological parks and aquariums are primarily engaged in the breeding, preservation, and display of native and exotic fauna in captivity.
Augustus was given the powers of an absolute monarchy, but he presented himself as the preserver of republican traditions. He treated the Senate, or State Council, with great respect, and was made consul year after year. He successfully reduced the political power of the army by retiring many soldiers, but giving them land or money to keep their loyalty. It's not that human activities didn't impact wildlife at all of course. Heavily hunted species, like white-tailed deer, gray squirrels, and raccoons, were photographed somewhat less often in hunted areas. Coyotes showed up more often in hunted areas. While most species didn't avoid hiking trails, the predators actually preferred them. One of the unidentifiable objects in this study lies just outside Centaurs A, an elliptical galaxy located about 12 million light-years from Earth. The other is in a globular cluster of stars found just outside NGC 4636, another elliptical galaxy located 47 million light-years from Earth in the constellation Virgo.